So let's go down that process. You were at the VA the other day, you were in dental, and every veteran in there getting dental work done is at 100% level. And what didn't they know about? Well, you know, these are our most educated because they're our most entitled veterans. 100% yeah. disability is, you know, a very high ranking. And you would expect that these are the people most familiar with the VA. Right. So uh, I'm sitting there in the dental waiting room with these other 100% disabled veterans, and I asked them a few questions. And I was amazed that they were totally unaware of any of the answers. Yeah. What were those questions you asked them? The first question I asked is one of our major benefits now, which is the community care system. Yes. And the community care system, besides being referrals from within the VA, Community care is also all of these urgent care clinics throughout our community that the VA is contracted in advance so that we don't have to drive all the way down to the VA in order to get service for something urgent. Stepped on a nail, got pink eye, have a, have a severe cold. So that was, that was number one. Number two, again, 100% veterans for scheduled appointments, they qualify for travel pay. So I asked them what they knew about the beneficial travel self-service system, BTSSS. That program has been in existence now for two years. Yes, it is. Yeah. No idea about BTSSS. And yet they're eligible for it. So some, well, some were filling out paper instead of filing electronically, but some were unaware that they deserve travel pay all these years. I know. Now, if you're at 100% disability and you live 20 miles from the VA, does that mileage uh, eligibility have to come into play? It does come into play. Yeah, It comes right. into play. You get paid for your mileage. Right, right. If you're five miles away from the VA, you get paid for your mileage. Yeah. So everything is open for the vets at 100% disability, service connected. Well, we know that there that when we're talking about travel, it's available for thirty percent disabled veterans. Yeah, there that's true. So that was two things that they didn't know about. All right. What was the, the third? Th the third thing that just blew me away was their ability to seek medical care in a civilian facility as long as they notified the VA within seventy two hours. Touche. And and again, what three things? could be more common because not only does it apply to 100% disabled veterans, it applies to all of our veteran community. Every veteran, absolutely. And, you know, given the age of our Vietnam era guys, any one of us could wind up in a hospital really quick. But the saddest, the saddest part of this was is that the people that are, should be most familiar with VA benefits not only are they ignorant of their benefits, but instead of being part of the staff, if you will, that is promoting the VA because they're using these benefits all the time. Right. Instead of being a part of that, they're not. Yeah. They're not out there telling other veterans about the superior service that they're receiving, right. about the travel pay, about the urgent care, about the community care. So what was the fourth one? Well, the fourth one was that they're receiving treatment at a VA facility and they're not advertising the quality of care that they're receiving. You mean not talking to other veterans about it? They're not going to registration and getting packages and passing them out to other veterans that they uh, know. They're shame. not contacting other veterans that they know, family members, friends, people that they meet and talking to them about registration. Yeah. How about number five? What's number five? Well, that was my four, but if I were to go ahead and say number five, they were unaware of the enhancements talking about my healthy vet. VA.gov. Yeah. Being able to pull up a personalized look at what their benefits are at my VA, right? totally unaware of any of this. Well, and I think that's true across the board. 
Um, and, and, and I don't know what the answer is to that. I'm going to stop her here, Henry, and then we can talk some more. And if we add some more on, that's going to be fine, too. Any closing thought? No, the closing thoughts would be that, again, it's our job as veterans to inform our community of benefits that we together earned through our service. Well, thank you.